Welcome tankers! Today we are going to look at the Weasel 1, and I'm going to play you two battles here, the first of which has the Weasel 1 fully upgraded with the Top Gun mounted. And just like the VBL, when you mount the Top Gun on the Weasel 1, you completely lose your auto cannon. Your machine gun just disappears and you can only fire missiles. And that's an extremely odd choice. I don't know why they've given all the premier scouts in the game top guns that can only fire missiles. And missiles are basically the last thing you want on a scout. All it's going to do is force the scouts to camp in the back and stay far away from the front lines. Because you do not want to be on the front lines with a gun that requires you to sit still for three seconds, aim, and then fire and then sit still out in the open for another four, five, six seconds while you guide the missile. If you're on the front lines, that means you're exposed to the enemy for upwards of 10 seconds, and that's more than enough time for almost any tank in the game to slaughter a scout. So I don't know why on earth they've done that, and all the scouts should have machine guns, not guided missiles. It's absolutely crazy. So now since I have missiles loaded, I would normally be a lot further forward and peeking around the rock at any tanks along the A or B line. But since I have missiles, I'm going to play on the hill and a lot more cautiously. And if you'll notice, we are on a completely new map. Uh, they added encounter modes for all the existing maps. So when EA3 starts, and who knows when that's coming, it'll probably be pretty soon in the next week or two. But when EA3 starts, you'll be noticing at least five new maps, which are all just the same maps, but with encounter modes enabled. And there is at least one other map that was available and working in the alpha tests that we've never seen yet in early access. So there's at least one more map coming. And it's actually probably the best map in the game, so I don't know when it's going to arrive. Hopefully in EA 3 or 4. So now, again, I'm going to play cautiously and, and sit on this, this hill, which gives me a good firing position, and then it allows me to just pop back and hide every time I fire or get spotted. So with these guys down on the other side of the cap circle, it's nice we'll have shots at their back, but unfortunately that kill cost us half our health. So I'm going to try and find a slightly better or safer position, but of course those guys that were shooting at me disappear and are too far away. So we'll try and move closer and see if we can get eyes on them and get shots at anything here that gets lit in the meantime. And an LAV, if you see one of those, you'll want to take it out as quickly as possible because they have one of the most overpowered guns in the game. Can do 500 damage and reload in less than 4 seconds, so you'll want to kill those as quickly as possible. And you'll, you'll have to watch out for MBTs that are hull down, like this guy, uh, you'll end up bouncing a fair bit, so if you ever have the choice between shooting a high health MBT from the front, or like I have here, a TD on low health, always fire for the TD. Because you want to remove uh, guns from the game as quickly as possible, and of course there's very little chance that you're going to bounce off of a TD like I just bounced off of this guy here. So from a distance against MBTs showing their frontal armor, you're going to bounce probably about half of your shots. So luckily, again, an another lower armored target appears, but of course he goes invisible just as we fire. But we were able, luckily we were able to guess where he was going and we killed him invisibly. So now with only a couple tanks left, we might as well just rush them and try and get any damage we can before my team slaughters them. So if we're lucky, we might get one more hit in. 
And stay tuned, right after this battle is done, we will be going into another battle, but with the machine gun loaded. Oh, and if you see here, they added, at the second half of EA2, they added really cool mud effects from the back of your tracks. And that was five kills with the weasel with missiles loaded, and now we will go back to... I'll show you roughly the same position on the same map, but with the machine gun. And I took missiles off of the weasel as, as soon as I could. I only played three battles with missiles loaded, and the, interestingly, the first battle Everything I shot missed, even though they were all aimed accurately. And the third battle, the same thing happened. So I'm wondering if missiles are actually broken in the Weasel 1, just like they were in Early Access 1 for the Swing Fire, where everything you shot just missed. <laughs> Although in the battle you just saw, the missiles did seem to fire accurately, so who knows. But anyway... I hate missiles, and I don't like them on scouts, so I went back to the machine gun as quickly as possible, and that's what we are using here, and you'll probably want to do that on the VBL as well. The machine gun's a lot better than missiles. Actually, in pretty much every tank, the machine guns are better than missiles, even though you bounce a lot and they don't have... Uh, well, pretty much everything will bounce, unless you're shooting at the side or rear of tanks, or using HE. But even still, they have tremendous DPM and are a much better choice than guided missiles. Especially for tanks, if you like to play them up on the front lines. Now people, I've noticed, like to hide in this building, but there is a trick here. <laughs> if you shoot the building, a nice big hole opens <laughs> up and you can shoot into the building now. Like that guy learned the hard way. So now I'm going to carefully peek around the corner and see if we can spot any of these guys here. Because there will usually be a bunch of enemy players guarding their cap. And there will be a lot more people in the middle than there normally are in the regular map. And luckily we get the kill there because he was on low health. And how nice, another guy on low health. So we get two kills back to back. And now I'm going to pull forward and see if we can light anything, if there's anything else up in the middle here. So I'm going to be very careful while doing it. So we know there's at least one guy up around this rock. So hopefully we can get behind him and get a bunch of shots into his back before he has a chance to even see we're here. But. Hmm, where is he? He seems to have moved. And he's taken the position we just had. It's like deja vu all over again. And luckily, we do manage to get the kill. And now let's think about pushing forward again. So we'll take time to reload while we're in a gully there and they can't shoot at us. And my teammate takes him out, so now I'm going to think about just pushing forward and going one on two against these guys. And we take out the first one, and now we've got enough health we can take a couple hits from this guy, so we might as well just drive straight at him and go one on one. And we'll want to be, with AP loaded, we're going to be wanting to shoot in his side as much as possible. And we get yet another kill. And now it'll be just looking for Artie, which I'm thinking are this way because I should have spotted them the last time I went around the big circle, but we didn't, and they were actually <laughs> back here. And we get another kill. And that was seven kills in the weasel.